All right, people, welcome back. More card review. To, today, we are looking at a TCG, so far, exclusive uh, Synchro Monster that came out. So I've been hearing a ton of people give their opinion. Some people think it's great. Some people think it's crap. Some people think it's meh. So I guess, once again, you know, it's my time to give my opinion on this. I'm always late, but, you know, I don't do the review, like, as soon as it comes out. Like, if the card comes out on a Thursday, then, you know... Maybe I'll reveal it on Monday, maybe Wednesday, but you're not getting it immediately. Not with me, anyway, not on this channel. So, uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and get into it. This is Vermilion Dragon Mech. It's a fire machine synchro effect monster at level 9, 2700 attack, 1800 defense. So, a level 9 synchro, 2700, I'm not sure what Trish's defense is. I want to say, like, maybe like 21 or something, but, you know, your stats are pretty much like Trish. Trish, you know, uh, 2700 for a level 9 synchro is fine. But the thing that makes you a little bit different than Trish and uh, where I can give you a point is that you're made with one tuner monster plus one or more non-tuner monsters. So you don't need two or more non-tuner monsters. It makes you a little bit uh, easier. And of course, we already know that one of the decks that would uh, be looking to make this is Blue Eyes because they do level nine synchros and one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. But you also have to compare, is it worth synchroing and to like spirit, you know, blue eye spirit dragon or your azure eye. So we also kind of compare to that. But if you can make this with two or more non tuner monsters, then just go for Trish. Like Trish's hands down end all be all better. I haven't even looked at this, but I already know that Trish is better. Let's go ahead and look at the effect. So once per turn, you can banish one tuner monster from your hand, field, or graveyard, then target a card on the field, destroy it. Not terrible. You can go ahead and use the tuner monster that you just used to synchro summon this. It'll go to the graveyard unless, you know, there's something on the field preventing it from going to the graveyard. Um, then you just go ahead and banish it to pop a card. Not terrible, really. I mean, targeting is not the greatest and destroying is not the, the greatest, but hey, you know, it's a pop. It's a pop, you know. If, if only if it's during either player's turn, but I guess that'd be a little bit too OP, but not not terrible effect not terrible effect you don't nag if you go ahead and just banish the tuna monster it's not like you got a pitch or you know pop one of your own cards like scrap dragon like to say that this card is crap is saying like scrap dragon is crap you know you get to you get a pop so that that's fine and if this single summon card is destroyed by card effect uh, it sucks that it just only says card effect you know it's said destroyed by battle and by card effect or removed from the field only by card effect and sent to the grave, right? It has to be sent to the grave, right, too. Once again, if there's something like a, a defissure or macro, nope. Uh, you could target one of your banished tuner monsters added to your hand. Oh, you mean the one that I just banished from my graveyard to use my effect? So, yeah, not not, not terrible, not terrible. But, like I said, I, I already know Trish is better. Trish is the king of level 9 synchros, and if you think otherwise, then you need to leave, because, God, you know, I don't see any, any other level 9 synchros limited. No, Trish is... Trish is great. It's wonderful. It's hot shit. We already know. I mean, Necrobs in there, Trish is pretty good, too. But, uh, like I said, if you're going to make this with two or more non-tuner monsters, go into Trish. So let's just look at it in the sense of one tuner plus one or one non-tuner monster, i.e. Blue Eyes. So this card is not terrible, and Blue Eyes can utilize it, but it's just, where's the situation, you know? I think that you want to keep up your resources, keep up your plays, you know? Spirit, Blue Eyes, Spirit Dragon, not only do I negate graveyard effects which is pretty strong in this format not only do i prevent synchro summoning pretty much because you can't pendulum summon more than two monsters so that's nice i get to hop out of the way if you try to come after me which is pretty good so if you try to target me i'm gonna hop out the way and uh tag out into another uh light dragon synchro monster and that can combo into itself plenty you know i've seen people go into uh you know, Moonlight and bounce something to your opponent's turn. I've seen people go, of course, into Azure Eyes. I've seen people go into Ancient Fairy Dragon, get that additional summit, and go into Crystal Mass. So there's there's plenty of things that you can do. So Spirit is just really great. And, of course, Azure Eyes, that's great, too. Um, uh, if you cherries the the Spirit Dragon, then it's not over because they still got the Azure Eyes, who's also really good. As a turn and summon, your dragons can't get fucked up and... Then you can go ahead and summon a blue eyes or a spirit from your graveyard. So that's pretty good as well. So um, it, it's more of a resource thing. You know, those cards, those cards have more synergy with your deck that gets you more pluses. It's on the other hand, there's synergy. It's there. I mean, I mean, it has synergy itself. I mean, you have to use a tuner monster to synchro some of this. And then that, tu that tuner monster will get banished for a pop. And then you can go ahead and uh, grab that tuner monster back. This card gets destroyed by card effect, which... I'm not sure if it will, but hey, I mean, at least it has something. Uh, 
I think one of the best things that it could possibly do is get you out of an anti-spell. That's not terrible. Or just spot pop if you really want to. But another thing that that Blood Spirit can tag out into is Michael. And then Michael can just banish. But then you'll get popped during the, you know, well, you get popped or banished if something happens to monster. I think you get destroyed. Then you get destroyed because Azure Eyes during the turn of summon won't be destroyed. So that's why it combos so well. So you get destroyed. But, uh, you know, you can just spot banish with Michael, but it's only one time. You know, this, as long as you had Tuner Monsters in your hand, it'll great right. Once per turn, as long as this card stays on the field, I get to keep pitching and popping and pitching and popping and pitching and popping. Uh, so you can get rid of anti spells, you can crack pendulum scales, which it depends, like I said. Uh, if I go into Spirit and Spirit tags out into Michael, I can banish the pendulum scale, which might be better uh, against some particular decks. Like, if I'm going against, like, Magic Specters, and I want to pop a Pendulum Scale, I might go into Vermilion and keep my Vermilion Dragon. But if I want to, if I'm going against like Metal Foes, then I might want to banish because, you know, they're freaking counter and stuff like that. So none, none of that, you know, banish the Pendulum Scale. So it depends, it depends. But, you know, the fact that you can go ahead and just sink into this, uh, hopefully using the particular tuner, like if you're using like Ancient White Stone. You might not want to use this effect to banish the Ancient White Stone because you want to get that effect during the end phase. So that might vary, but you know, after you get the effect during the end phase, you can banish it to grab back Blue Eyes. Maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe now, a turn later, you want to do Vermilion Banish, Pop, then this card destroy a card effect, grab my Ancient White Stone back. So there's there's synergy there. I I wouldn't say that the card is fan fucking fantastic. It's broken. It's hot shit. No, no, it's definitely not. I mean, it's not even stacking up to Trish. But it does what it does. It does okay. It does fine. Uh, I don't think it's fantastic i don't think it's crap you know i think that it blue eyes true on one if i if i if i played blue eyes i would run one of my tricks the situation might pop up i mean they're locking me down with with anti-spell i mean it's really slowing me down all right well i can just real special summon alternative normal summon the level and tuner go into vermilion vermilion pop that ha huh, pop that anti-spell you know pop that uh uh pop those pendulum scales pop that uh that abc felt spell you know so not terrible not terrible so, uh, there we go, there we go, I mean, I guess it's an okay job TCG Konami, I really can't complain, it's not that often we get level 9 synchro monsters, so, and that in itself is fine. So tell me what you guys think about Vermilion Dragon Mech in the comment section below, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and of course I will be back on Wednesday with another card to look at. Alright people, thanks for watching.